Today I will be reacting to two videos. The first video is going to be a woman claiming that people should wait 12 days before sleeping with each other and she explains why. The second video is going to be a woman getting mad that guys do not give her attention anymore. All they do is just talk to each other. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before I get started, watch the entire video, comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video. Next, I will not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, who is Anthony Spade, the link is in the description. If you're looking for my music that's inside the videos, the link is in the description as well. All right, today I'm going to be reacting to a video of a woman. The first video is going to be a woman that states that men and women should wait 12 days days before sleeping with each other all right and throughout the video she says a lot of things that i agree with but before we get into this video i just want to explain that when it comes to dating now dating is nothing like it was before it's not and to be honest with you i don't think man and woman actually know how to communicate or flirt with each other anymore it seems like a lot of people are doing most of their dating online, going to Tinder, setting things up that way, and just meeting up to sleep with each other, and then walking away with no type of connection at all. We're going into a world where everything's going to be mad, that if you are looking for a relationship, the one thing that you and another woman have to master in order to work is putting your phone down. If you and her are unable to put your phone down, then you're going to continue to go along with the psychological manipulation that's actually on the internet. And then that's going to cause you to keep having bad relationships over and over again. In a lot of cases in the space that we're in right now, it's best for a man to go his own way before he even thinks about dating. But let's just see what the lady in the video, the matchmaker coach, has to say. I'm a professional matchmaker and I suggest to my followers and my clients that you should wait 12 days before having sex. In the previous parts, I talked about the math behind how to get to 12 dates. Let's talk about why now. So when you have sex, you release this hormone called oxytocin, also known as the cuddle hormone. And if you're a woman, you can quite literally become blind to seeing all the red flags or pink flags of the person you're dating. So my suggestion is to just wait a little bit discover if you actually like this person and figure out if they have the red flags you're not looking for. What do I mean by that? Figure out what they're like on a bad day, what they're like on a good day, what they're like when you're having a bad day, and more importantly, what they're like when you're having a good day. By intentionally spending time dating, talking, you'll discover a lot of that. There's obviously going to be a part four. I agree. She's going to need to make a part four because one, people attention spans are too short, especially women's. Women attention spans are so short that they don't even have time to sit down and get to know someone. Everything is based off of materialistic things. Pretty much if a guy drives a nice car, he looks flash and he can mimic a rap video, something that her brain is used to, then it's easy for him to get women because women are not trying to build anything. They're trying to create a persona of what they look like. So a lot of people nowadays, it's so easy for them to look rich. It's so easy for you to look like a boss. But what they're not realizing is, is that the new rich is sanity. That's the new rich mental health without mental health your good is dead and your flesh should be alive all right second video coming up is going to be a woman who's going to be getting mad that she spends a lot of time getting her makeup together getting her body together and still a group of guys will still not approach her women are just not understanding nowadays that guys are desensitized to the cartoon look all of you have the same hair. All of you have the same eyelashes. You're wearing the same girdles. You're wearing the same type of clothes, the same yoga pants, but you still want to feel different. And whenever they can't get that feeling, that's when they turn out. Just like this girl we about to watch right now. All right, let's get to it. It's out of the gas station right now. 
And I see all these guys hanging out with each other, right? And this bitch is alone, alone doing with it, while all these guys look at me, look at me, look, look, okay? Yeah, and they fucking drive a Toyota. Like five dicks came out of a Toyota at the gas station. Yeah, and look at this shit, okay? And I'm like, why the fuck you bitches hanging out together? Look at me, look at me, okay? Why are you guys hanging out together? Look at me! See, a lot of what what women don't understand is that when men get together, men are not like women. Women can be very petty about things, which is why they lose a lot of friends. And they're constantly changing their best friends. Best friends become enemies. Enemies eventually become their best friend. But it's not like that with guys. When guys get together, guys don't are not analyzing everything. Men just need someone to talk to for a little bit of time. Before he goes back on his journey of being a man. I'm alone. You guys are together. Why? The fuck? The fuck? The fuck? The fuck? The fuck? Is wrong with you? Why? I'm like, you guys bisexual? You guys are fucking each other's assholes, huh? Yeah, you guys are. That's why bitches like me are alone. Because all you bitches are licking each other's dicks. Getting your fucking asshole fucked. The fuck? The fuck? The fuck? Women are always trying to pull the gay card on a man whenever a man doesn't want them. That's just an understanding that she has came across a smart man who is in control of his emotions. And that's what a lot of women are not used to because they become so accustomed to the blue pill male. They become used to the fabricated lifestyle, which used to work. The fake tits, the fake butts, the fake eyelashes, the wigs. All of that used to work upon a time. And as a little bit, it is working now. It's working, but it's at a cheaper price. There's no value in it no more. 2020 was the year of awakening. 2021 is the year of transitioning. Those who fail to wake up will self-destruct. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully, you guys are able to get the message behind this video. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels, especially my second channel, because I'm about to do daily vlogs on there to show you guys exactly how a Sigma male moves. All right? Hasta la vista. Remember, she ain't holding you down. She's slowing you down. Hasta la vista. Just a rough country. But they're going to get sick of looking at my face. I'm a vlogger. So we here and it's the place right here. We're about to go up in there. See if we can get us a lift kit. Stay tuned. This ain't a rap song, it's red pill rage. This ain't a this rap place song, it's red pill, pill rage. This ain't a rap song, it's red pill rage. This ain't a rap song, it's red pill rage. It used to be a time that fairy tales were true. The king and the queen and all the pills were blue. But then the pill changed, the red pills were true. Forget the married life, I got better things to do. Stack money, travel. I'm still contemplating if I want to get one of these. You know what? Can you throw this on there? Will this fit? Uh, I can find one, yeah. Or maybe this black one. Yeah, Go with the black, since the truck is black and gray. This the kit we're going with. Right there. With the shocks. Then if I want, I may come back and upgrade this on the next truck built. Not this truck built, but it, when we built the Tundra, I'm going to go with the other one. What else?